is it worth it? Is it worth going to college? I think that it's a simple question, but the fact is, I think many people, maybe not people watching this video, or maybe some people watching this video, but many people in the world would say, no, it's not worth it. And I'm gonna say I strongly disagree. I think education is one of the ways for regular people, like me, I'm a regular person, right? I had a, I guess a regular life, you know, I wasn't born a millionaire or anything. Um, you know, when I was a kid, you know, my, 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 we had food stamps. So, so a regular person who doesn't come from money, I think education is one way for those people to get ahead. And there's so many ways that you can criticize the statement. There's so many criticisms of education. People talk about, you know, oh, it's expensive. It really isn't, especially if you go to like a state college or a community college. And in some states, it's really inexpensive. And if you're poor, and if your parents are poor, in the US, it's free. Now, if your parents aren't poor, you gotta pay. If you're 24 years old in the US, actually, they don't include your parents' income. So that makes it easier for some people, once they're a little bit older, to get some, some financial aid. But it's inexpensive in the US, despite all the stuff you hear about student loans. That, that stuff with the student loan stuff, there are some schools that are extremely expensive and are overpriced. It's mainly those, those, uh, those for-profit schools are really pricey. And a lot of times the degrees aren't even accredited. So that's, I think, where, where they get people. And that's where the student loan problem comes from. So, but regular colleges, state colleges and stuff, community colleges, they're really inexpensive. So with a degree in anything, okay, in anything, doesn't have to be math, you have a better chance of getting a job. Because if you look at jobs and you look at the pay, the jobs that pay more require a degree. Now, a lot of them want experience and, and they, they always say, oh, experience is more important than degree. Sure, it is. But how do you get this experience if you can't get in the door? Well, you get a degree, right? And you start somewhere at the company and you work your way up if that's what you want to do with your life. You can certainly get a job without a college degree. And there are certain professions that pay very well where you can make a lot of money. You know, you can be uh, an electrician. I'm not sure if you need a college degree to be an electrician, but you do need some training or a plumber or uh, a contractor, you know, old school trades, you know, things that people have always done, you know, blue collar jobs. Those, a lot of those jobs uh, do pay uh, pretty well. I got to change lanes here. The, uh, looks like there's some road construction up ahead and let me just check my directions up. I still have 36 minutes till, till my destination. So going on a little adventure today. But education I think is worth it. So don't let the criticisms of the world narrow your view or or don't let it influence you, which is hard. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard to do that. You know, it's hard to not let outside influences affect you. You know, I, I can think of countless situations where I've read stuff on the internet, negative stuff about some website or some service or, or, or something I should, shouldn't do. And if I would have taken the advice from that video or I would have listened to that person on Reddit, it would have been a terrible mistake because it was terrible advice. So just because you know someone is giving you advice about education on the internet doesn't mean it's true. So please know that. Uh, education really is, I think, one of the ways for regular people to have a decent life, you know? I mean, you might not be rich, but with a college degree, you can get a job, make a decent living. I mean, when I when I went to college, that was my goal. I wanted to get a math degree just so I could make a living and like, you know, be able to buy a pizza on weekends sometimes and have a, have a place to live, you know, a roof over my head, just like the basic necessities, you know? That's all I wanted. And, you know, I have that now. I have a place to live, I, I have food, I have a phone, I, I'm recording this video, so. It's a very inexpensive phone, but I have a phone. <laughs> so, it's the cheapest iPhone. So the point is that education does work. Education does work. 
the degree you get does matter, but I want to emphasize that you can get a degree in anything, and you know, anything, even an English degree. I, I had a friend once uh, in college, and he had an English degree, and he said, there's two things you can do with an English degree. You can go work at McDonald's, or you can, and I, I don't want to finish that sentence, because it's... This is the G-rated channel, <laughs> so I keep I keep the content really clean on this channel. But you know, he had some derogatory statement. And looking back on that, I was thinking, you know, he could have gotten a job with his English degree. He could have gotten a job in some office, doing some type of administration work, and and worked his way up. So you can do it with any degree. Just know that. Just know that. And it isn't expensive if you go to a community college. And there's ways to make money without without college you know you hear these stories like let's take mark zuckerberg i think i don't know much about mark zuckerberg but i'll use his him, him as an example because everyone knows who he is right he created facebook and i think he i think he dropped out of college right and so did bill gates you know he created microsoft so you hear these stories about people who dropped out of college you know quit college and started these companies and became rich so people think oh i could do that but that that's not the norm right that's not the norm and I'm not saying you should try to be like everyone else. You should always try to be the best you can be and the best version of yourself, right? But having a degree is a benefit. And if you have the opportunity to go to college, you should do it. And if you're watching this video and you're older and you're thinking about going back, just do it. Just take one class, right? Take a night class, just do it. I used to have students who were older and they were working. And I would, I would have a lot of these students because uh, when I was teaching night classes, and in the night classes, you get these students who already have jobs. You know, they work at banks, they work at some construction company. Um, they have jobs and they make money and they have a decent paycheck. They have enough to live and maybe have a house or an apartment, but it's not enough. And maybe they're not happy with their job and they want more opportunity. So they go back to school and they take one class at a time. And I used to feel so bad for these students. And I'll tell you why. because it's hard, right? It's extremely hard to go to school and to work. I don't think people realize how hard it is. I don't think teachers realize how hard it is. If you're a teacher and you're watching this video and you have students who are going to work, be nice to them, right? I mean, maybe you already are, right? But I just want to say it again, just in case you're a teacher. And teachers are people too, right? Teachers can become jaded. They have emotions or human beings. We're all human beings, right? Students and teachers. So sometimes teachers do get mad. Uh, they do get upset. They do get their feelings hurt. I was always pretty good about that uh, because I think I had a different perspective. And I still do. I have a different perspective. One where, you know, you look at the students and to me, the students are just people trying to better their lives. You know, I just, that's all they're trying to do. And sometimes I would get students that would complain about stuff, but it's pretty rare. And even then it's okay, it's okay to complain. I mean, they're just they're just students, right? They're starting college, they're, they're trying to do better, they're trying to do something, right? So anyway, it's kind of a rant video on education. I just thought I would make it because, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think I've made too many videos like this where I just talk about my feelings on education and what I think about it. I do think that it's interesting that in different countries, the educational system is different. For example, I have this friend, well, he was my friend, we don't talk anymore, but he's lost, lost touch. He was from France. Uh, he was Vietnamese, but he was from France and highly intelligent, extremely good at mathematics. He used to help me with my advanced calculus proofs. We used to hang out on an IRC server that um, I helped run, kind of. And he got his PhD in chemistry because According to him, the system in France would not support him and his goals to get a P, uh, to get a, a math degree. So he studied chemistry instead of math. But he really, secretly, always wanted to do math, but he couldn't because of the way the system there works in France. But I do know that in, in, in France, I think, and in other countries, education is more specialized, whereas in the U.S., it's a little bit more broad. And I have mixed feelings on that. Some people say, oh, why do you have to study English if you're going to study, like, why do you have to take an English class if you're going to get a math degree? Or why do you have to study uh, history if you're going to get a math degree? What's the point of that, right? 
And I used to hate that. I used to, I remember taking American government. I hated that class. I was so nervous. I was so scared of that class, American government. Ah, oh, I was terrified. There was a paper in that class that was like 55% of our grade. I was so nervous. <laughs> and I used to hate taking classes like that. I used to think, why can't it be like in Europe, you know, or in other countries where education is more specialized. Like in Italy, I've heard like, I read somewhere like Italian math students take like, I don't know, it's like 30 some courses or something. I read it in some book I have. I don't know if it's true, but it was something like, something ridiculous like that. So if you're from Italy, let me know if that's true. You know, how many math courses do you take in Europe? You know, I mean, what's the education like there? So I always feel like it's a little bit more rigorous there because they specialize quicker. Whereas in the US, uh, you know, the US takes a broader approach and there's like a core curriculum that every person who gets a degree takes, which I think that's what it means to be educated in some sense, right? College in the US, it, that's the goal of it, right? And is it doing a good job? I mean, I can probably criticize it. I, I could say no, but I wouldn't know how to change it. I mean, actually I do, I do know how to change it. I do know how to make college better, but it's not, it's not possible, right? I think, I think college in the US, the education system in the US and in any country would be better if they basically made it better, right? Because the colleges in the US are funded by the government. So if there was more funding for colleges, right? And they paid the teachers more money and they raised the requirements, maybe add some like, you know, make it harder to get a job, but then raise the pay what happens when you raise the pay and you make the job harder to get? You make it more competitive and you get better people applying for those jobs. So you get people who are really good teachers or who could be really good teachers and who aren't are now applying for these jobs because the jobs pay more, right? So that's the thing. That's the thing. So same thing with other stuff in life, you know, like I don't want to get into politics, but like, you know, like police officers, they're very, very, I really think Public service jobs uh, in the U.S. in general are are very very underpaid. So that's that's something that could improve those areas, I think. But that costs money. Where does it come from, right? So that's that's politics. In any case, education. I, I think it's worth getting a degree. So if you're still watching this video, if you're still with me, listening to my driving rant, 27 minutes away. Do it, and especially if you're not in college. I, I think fear is what keeps people from doing things in life. It certainly kept me from going to college. I, I was gonna go to college at a much younger age, and I had a friend, she was really cool. We used to hang out on the weekends and watch boxing fights. <laughs> I know, strange, right? And she went to college, and when she went, she really, really tried to get me to go, and uh, I didn't because I was afraid. And then years later, I finally mustered the courage to do it, went to college for computer science, and then uh, accidentally discovered mathematics. I love mathematics, it's the best thing in the world. And I started a YouTube channel, and here I am talking to you in my car. So yeah, I mean, education can really help your life. It helped my life. Before I went to college, I didn't really have any I mean, my jobs were very low paying. I mean, I won't, I'm not saying they were bad. I had some good jobs and I made some good friends with the jobs I had. I ever worked at a warehouse and I, I like that. I did some construction for a while, but college allowed me to get my first, you know, good job where I made like real money where I could afford like to buy a car that runs and live in a decent neighborhood, you know, things like that. So it's, it's, a, good, it's a good place to be. It's a good place to be. Anyways, I probably should end this video. Subscribe if you want to, and check out my courses, mathsorcerer.com, they're on Udemy, but check out mathsorcerer.com, that's where my courses are. And I keep forgetting if I'm in fifth gear or sixth gear. I just, yeah, okay, sixth gear. This is a six, six, uh, six speed stick shift. Apparently driving a stick shift is cool, by the way. I saw some reel on Instagram, it's really funny. Uh, it was like, what, what people who drive stick think that others think of them? And apparently like, yeah. I, I I learned how to drive stick when I was a kid. I did when I was like 16. So my friend taught me. So yeah. Anyways, keep doing mathematics.